Yo, 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 what's poppin' y'all? It's your boy Spence Taylor here once again. Hello, Mr. Generic Walking Stereotype Black Guy Man. Pop lock and frog it, bitches. And a lot of you guys know me because I'm always trying to fight against racism and uplift my black people. But with so many ignorant people in this world, it gets pretty stressful. Like, I'm stressed as hell. Oh god, tell me about it. I mean, I've always got to make videos on people who for some wacky reason don't believe that they can be racist, but in fact are actually really, really racist. And on top of that, black people are being killed by cops at disproportionate rates and nobody cares. God, yeah, you're right. Black people are killing people at disproportionate rates. Yeah, black people are being killed by cops at disproportionate rates and nobody cares. Oh, right. I misunderstood you see because you said at the end nobody cares because in case you missed it sunshine every time a black man is shot there's riots even if he's a known criminal and he's armed in the act of committing a crime being a black man in america is just not safe anymore so i decided that it's easy for me just to give up so i'm officially caucasian yeah i decided that the white way is the right way uh, that's funny actually because i decided that being a frog was too dangerous so i decided to become a black man because the black way is the whack way. And it's not just about changing my physical appearance, like I've adopted the Caucasian lifestyle, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I adopted the black way, motherfucker. Yo, yo. I'm committed to this, like I no longer season my chicken, and I've even taught myself how to dance off beat. I'm Caucasian, and I'm better. Like I must admit, being Caucasian comes with some great perks and great privileges. Yeah, well, now that I'm black, I can be just, I can be as racist as I want and uh, not get called racist, but at the same time, calling other people racist and uh, ruining their lives and shit. Take that, whitey. It's like all my interactions with cops have been pretty friendly for the most part. And when I get pulled over, I can rest assured that I'm not racially targeted or racially profiled. Oh shit, does that mean now that I'm black, when I get pulled over by police, that I've got to like be a total fucking asshole and refuse to do anything they say, and I have the possibility of getting shot and then blame it on them being racist because I didn't comply with the law? Fuck. Because I'm Caucasian. Like, I can, I can argue back, I can yell, I can threaten to write a letter. Where's your badge number? <laughs> they squared. <laughs> Dab. And as a Caucasian, I can go shopping at fancy stores like Navy Markets, Bloomingdale's, and they don't follow me. I was able to get away with seven pairs of designer jeans because they weren't following me. They weren't even paying attention to me. They followed the Negroes, you know? <laughs> When I was black, I had to deal with generalizations and negative stereotypes. Right, just to get serious a second, what do you think you're doing here? You're on about generalizations. What are you doing there in, the, in this big act where you've fucking whited up your face and all that shit? You're generalizing white people as a whole group, and that's what you're fighting against. That's what you're saying is so bad. You need to fucking give your head a wobble, sunshine. As a Caucasian male, I can scream things like, Get over slavery! Oh yeah, because as a black man, I can go up to white people and say, all that stuff that you've earned, all that money you've earned working so hard in your life, you now owe to me because I'm black and you're white and there was some white people this, this time that enslaved some black people, even though it's got nothing to do with you and you've never enslaved anybody in your life and I've never been enslaved in my life, but you owe me that money, that stuff that you've earned and worked so hard for, you owe me it. Oh, it's good. This is going to be great. I'm going to be so rich. As a Caucasian, I'm privileged not to be affected by systematic racism. In fact, I can act like I'm colorblind and act like it doesn't exist. Racism, where, where, no, I see it, where is it? No, I don't, no, no, it doesn't exist, no, where, where is it? No, 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 I don't see it, no, no. Notice the level of projection here. It claims that white people refuse to see racism while being extremely racist to white people and not seeing it. He's a fucking idiot. Yeah, and I realise that the blackface frog will be offensive to some people, as stupid as it is. But my whole point of showing it is to point out the hypocrisy in our culture. Somehow, this guy's whiteface character impression, which is extremely racist by the way, will be mostly accepted as non-offensive. However, blackface frog will be deeply offensive to some people. And my guess is that my video is more likely to be taken down and silenced than his. So tell me again how black people are more oppressed than white people.